Hello everyone, this is Chad from Futures Analytica, and today we're going to be going over the installation guide for the Polarity Machine Learning Beta. Um, just a cute few quick things to note before we get started. Make sure you have the newest version of NinjaTrader installed. You can just get this off of their website with the most recent release. Um, also, when you download that, make sure you download it outside of OneDrive. If it's inside of your OneDrive directory, you'll run into some issues towards the end that we can't fix unless it's outside the OneDrive. Another thing to note for our users who are outside of the United States, make sure that your decimal symbol is set to a period and not a comma. If it's a comma, it'll mess some things up in the Python code and it just won't work for you. And then one last thing to note before we get started is just that um, going through this process will delete your templates and workspaces. So if you want to keep your templates and workspaces, Create a backup of NinjaTrader before you do any of this, and then you can re-import those later on. All right, we're gonna get started now. Just boot up NinjaTrader and log in. All right, and once you get signed in, you can just close out of all the panels. Just keep the control center open, which is this panel right here. And then what we're gonna do from here is import the three main files we need. So we're gonna go into Tools, Import, and NinjaScript Add-on. The first one we're going to import is the Analytica Chart 4 Plus. If you just have the base version, just import the base version. But to do this, we're going to go to Downloads, go to Analytica Chart 4 2 Plus, double click on it, and then just click OK through all the pop ups. And all of these files can be found in the drop boxes that are provided to you um, upon your purchase. And we're just going to wait for this to load. All right. And then we're going to repeat the same process. So go to Tools, Import, NinjaScript add-on, but this time we're going to import the PATI inputs alpha file. So again, go back to your downloads and then PATI ML inputs alpha. So just double click on that one and then click yes through all of the pop-ups and then we'll just wait for this one to load as well. All right, and then we're just going to repeat this process one more time. So tools, import, NinjaScript add-on. This time though, we're looking for the R9B version of Polarity. So downloads, Polarity ML Beta R9B. Double click on that one, and then click yes through all of the pop-ups again. And then yes on this one. And we're gonna come to a pop-up which says that we'll need to restart um, and relaunch NinjaTrader. Uh, don't actually do that just yet. Yeah, this pop-up requires that you shut down and restart. Don't do that just yet. We're gonna go back to tools and import and then backup file. And when we import this backup file, it'll automatically restart NinjaTrader for us. So again, tools, import, backup file. Click on that. Oh, my apologies. Go to connections first and then disconnect from any connections you have. And then you can go into tools, import, and then backup file. And then we're going to go back to downloads. And this one should be in the Dropbox as well. The one that says NQ-ES template R9B. Double click on that. Make sure templates and workspaces are both checked, and then click import. It should just take a second to import that, and then click OK. And you should notice that NinjaTrader automatically closes down and restarts itself. So, once you're on this desktop, go into your files, and go into documents. We're going to go into NinjaTrader 8, and then scroll down a little bit until you see templates. Go into templates, and when you're in templates, click on new and create a new folder. We're going to name this folder PATI inputs or sorry, PATI resources, sorry about that, with a capital R. So PATI resources. And then just click enter. And what I like to do is right click this and then select pin to quick access. And that way it'll stay on the left hand um, of your screen and we can go back into our downloads. Now we're gonna move two things into this folder. First is the PATI ML app. You can actually put this PATI ML app on your desktop just for really quick and easy access. But for now, I'm just gonna move this into the PATI resources folder. And then we're also gonna move in the prepackaged model. Um, so this one can be also downloaded from the Dropbox and you'll just click and drag this one into the file, into the folder, my apologies. So when you click on the PATI resources folder, there should be two files in there, the PATI ML app and the prepackaged model. Um, once those two are in there, you can close out of this and then relaunch NinjaTrader. 
And you'll notice when you're launching up Ninja Trader this time, uh, when it fully loads, it should automatically load the NQ chart um, with the uh, Analytica chart 4 plus applied to it. So we have the NQ already loaded with a 31 range, and then it should also be loading the Analytica chart 4 plus for us, which is great. That means we don't, like, that all happened automatically, um, and we didn't have to touch a thing. Uh, so we're just going to wait for this to load a little bit. The one indicator you will have to manually add is the PATI inputs alpha. So we're just going to do that really quick. Go up here into indicators. Scroll down until you find PATI and uh, PATI in my bad. PATI machine learning inputs alpha. Just double click on that and then press apply. And that should add it to the chart. All right. So we're almost finished up here now. We're going to go back to our control center. And now we're going to import um, the prepackaged model. So we're going to go to new. Down at the very bottom where it says polarity models, click on that. And then we are going to press on import. Um, what you're going to do is download the prepackaged model and then move it into the PATI resources folder like we already did before. And you can click on this and then select file. And it should just take a second to load. Perfect. You'll notice it imported this model called Connor Model Win Rate, and it's trade on, trained on symbol NQ. Looks good to me. So we can just click X right here and go back to our chart. Um, let me remove this drawing. All right. Now we're going to actually add that strategy to our chart. So what we're going to do is go to Strategies, and then Polarity ML Beta R9B. We're going to load the template for NQ futures. We also have a template for ES futures because pretty soon we should have a prepackaged model built for ES. Um, we're currently working on that and you guys will be the first to know when that comes out. But for now, just select the NQ futures and click load. And then there's just a few settings we have to change. It's these four settings right here under machine learning. Um, these can't be automatically checked. You'll have to manually check them yourselves. One thing I will note is go back into your files, go into the PATI resources that we pinned, and launch the PATI ML app. You have to launch this before adding the strategy to the chart or enabling the strategy. Click more info and run anyways, if that pop-up appears. And then it should just be blank. So if it's blank like this, then you're good to go. You can just minimize it and then exit out of your files. And we're gonna toggle enable machine learning, optimize settings, and use incremental learning. And we're going to select Connor model win rate as our active model. This is the one that we imported earlier. Um, and that should be it for the settings that we need to change, just because we loaded that template from earlier. So just click Enable, press Apply, and then just click OK. And we'll give that a minute to load, and I'll get back once, once that is done. All right, so that just took a minute to load. We got the heuristic parameter optimization on. Um, the strategy loaded successfully. You'll notice right here on our PATI ML app, machine learning model successfully loaded. And yeah, this is how you're able to trade polarity now with our prepackaged models. Um, hopefully this installation was more simpler than previous ones. And yeah, we hope you enjoy this version.